What's the best Phil Collins song? <laughs> Whatever the most famous one is. In the air tonight. There it is. Okay, guys. That's the only Phil Collins song I know. Yeah, actually, that's the only. I I think I listened to one of his other ones, but I had absolutely I have absolutely no. What idea about Genesis? Ones. You ever listen to any Genesis? I've not. Yeah, that's his band, I think. Welcome back to the. So D&D when you podcast. imagine Phil Collins, do you imagine him like having long hair or short, short. hair? He's bald. Is he? So yeah. that was a trick question. Yeah, because I always imagine him having long hair. Are you procrastinating? No, I'm just want to talk about Phil Collins. Welcome back. To the <laughs> Welcome back to the Beanie Podcast. This is episode eleven. My name is Ethan Quolset. My name is Ben. Armandus. And today, we today we have a very special episode in store for you. I Let's think. do it right now. No. Okay. So we have we Carolina have Reaper. Carolina Reaper. Pepper. Yes, and we're going to... It's the fifth hottest pepper in the world. It's the first. It is the first hottest pepper in the world. There's no other pepper that's hotter than this one. I don't know. You sure about that? I am sure, because I've looked it up. I am very I am very nervous. Well, you can't trust everything you read I'm on the internet, I'm very nervous. Then I'm let's al- eat it right I'm now. Already, I'm already like... Then let's do it right now. Come on, Ethan, let's do it. I want to talk at least a little no. bit. No! I want to talk a little bit. It's going to, it's going to happen, and I'm I know eating. that. I'm eating. I'm talk. Are you nervous too? No. Ben's not nervous. I think he's deaf. I think he's for sure nervous. Today we have Julia and Jack sitting in with us as our as Cohorts. our carers. I, yeah, our carers. Jack, you're my carer. I don't know. I can't imagine. I don't know what I what I think is gonna happen. It's something I don't think you can. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to process <sighs> it. Am I gonna lose my mental like capabilities? Probably. It's so. I think it's so much pain. You want to examine it right now and describe what we're seeing? The pepper. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's get it out. Uh, what do you ex- What do you expect personally? Like that. Uh, the drip on my tongue thing, but like two times as much. Yeah. I think I mentioned this last time, but it has a it has a fruity flavor. <laughs> it initially has a very fruity flavor. Well, that's fun. That is fun. I have. Um, that's silly. <laughs> we went, we went out and we got. I have some milk. Um, I'm planning on. I have some bar. Ben had dinner. Uh, you said you were planning on swallowing it. Yeah, I am. I am not planning on swallowing it. I'm. I really am so nervous. Okay, here we we have them out. Don't grab. Careful, careful. Okay. Only grab the. Uh, yeah, because if you t- you're gonna touch your eyes and that's gonna be a. Uh oh. Okay, so we have them. I swear, if you pop that in your mouth. <laughs> pop this bad oh, boy yeah. in your mouth. Okay, so I have like ra- I have some paper towels and stuff to assist us. So we're looking at them right now. Don't you do it. I'm, I'm not. Inspe- I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get a good look. It. I'm inspecting it. It is wizened. <laughs> 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 it is wizened. It is like truly, a wizard? It's truly, it is scary. It's so, it's like, it's bumpy. It looks like there's... It looks ragged. <sighs> It looks ragged. It looks like it was something that's just thrown away and not meant to be. Yeah. All right, ready? <sighs> Should we have a count? Is there anything more? We no, can... we just eat it. Okay. What? What? We should have a. We should have a plan so it doesn't. So we eat it. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna take a bite, and I'm gonna chew it, and I'm gonna swallow it, and then I'm gonna live happily ever after. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My plan is. My plan is to bite it. I should try to chew it for a little bit. Yeah. And then I'm not going to swallow it, though. I'm going to spit it out. Okay. Oh, my gosh. You're telling me you're not nervous at all. No. You're not nervous at all. Are you just no, saying I, that? No, I just want to eat it. Oh you my. have no idea how bad I want to be. <laughs> Stop. Are you, are, are, if you're trying to get yourself worked up for it, then I respect that. If you're, the, I've found that if someone else is nervous about something, I'm not nearly as nervous. In this case, uh, I'm the person that's nervous, and you're using me to like yeah. back yourself up. Yeah. I am the I am the in the worst spot right now. Mm. I need you to help me. I need you. All to right, help Ethan. Me. Tell me why I can do this. Okay, here's why you can do this. You know why? You remember that video? That girl on the internet that ate 25 of these. Mm-hmm. She was Indian. That is racist. She ate them all the time. This is my first, this will be, the hottest thing I've eaten is like ghost pepper salsa. Oh, yeah? 
Yeah, which we have, and it's not that. No, I mean, let's see. How can, else can I hype you up? Uh, anything. Anything from you guys. Okay, what? If these were that dangerous, they wouldn't be selling these for 50 cents. They're not selling them to be eaten raw. They're, they, they're used in cooking. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Oh my gosh. It's like going on a roller coaster. We can just do We just have to do it, right? Yep. All right, ready? We just have to do it. Okay, I'm going to turn. I'm going to take this. Hold on, wait, wait. I want to see the volume raise on it. Okay. You want to yell or yeah. something? No, I'm probably not going to yell, but I'm going to be like, oh, boy. Okay. Remember, Ethan, this is family friendly. <sighs> I know. I, was, I, I, I wanted to tell you. I wanted to tell you that it was. And I watched this episode of Mythbusters where it was like, if you swear, you feel less pain. So we can't. Mm -hmm. We can't swear. Nope. I saw that episode, too. All right, I'm going to... Maybe chew it until I feel it. All right. So do whatever you want, man. I just want to play Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything out. Oh, my gosh. Okay. It doesn't smell like anything. Okay, we have to do it. Okay. All right. Do we have any little thing to say to each other? Cheers. Dink them and sink them? Yeah, dink them and sink them. I know once they dink, I have to sink. <laughs> <laughs> It's like magnets, <sighs> like they're repelling each other. Yeah. Boop. We're chewing now. Mother of God. <sighs> I'm still chewing up. <sighs> No. No. This ain't nothing. I've seen worse. I've spit it out. Swallowed. Breathing hurts. <sighs> Breathing does hurt. Okay. <sighs> Initial reactions. <sighs> it's definitely spicy. <laughs> Heart rate's increased. Although it was going pretty fast before I started eating. I can feel it getting worse. I'm drinking my football milk. Ben's drinking some Gatorade. I haven't touched anything yet. Ooh. My mouth feels filled. Oh, oh. New sensation. Ben wants some milk. He needs some milk. New sensation. <sighs> Breathing is a little bit difficult. It feels like my mouth is filled. Filled with fire. It's like, it's a very earthy. It's kind of a, it's a very round shape. Oh. It's inflating behind my eyes. As far as the heat in my mouth, I don't think it's as, I don't think it differs that much from something that else that I've had. It's like, it's affecting me mentally. It's like affecting my ability to process what like what I want to say. I feel like I'm drugged. Did you only take that much of a bite? Yeah. Ben just showed me what he had and he, he tore off a section. <coughs> oh, it's hot. Ben, how's the milk? Not good. Sorry, <laughs> sorry for the the quality of this podcast. It's gonna be a lot of breathing. 
Big breaths don't help. Don't throw up. Okay, okay. Oh, fudge. Oh, sorry about. Oh yeah, we'll do. We'll make. Yeah, I just threw up. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Oh, about that it. smells rancid. Don't worry about it, buddy. I know how to download. I know how to make YouTube videos MP3. We'll find a. We'll find a beep one. Beep. Whoa. No, we're keeping that in. We are not. That's too brutal. No, it's not. Do I have anything running? My mouth. Ben has a lot of face liquids. Watch out, buddy. We have a rags. I have a. It feels like my jaw has been turned to liquid. Okay, oh, I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm going to take a drink of milk. I haven't taken anything yet. That's dinner. There goes my dinner. Oh, shoot. Milk helps a lot. Let me tell you what. Okay? Not drinking milk. It's coming back. Ooh. It really fills up your... It fills up your, uh... It fills up your mouth. Okay, I'm having part of a cliff bar. That's not gonna help at all. Oh, I just saw it. I just looked in there. Don't, don't do that. So we're recording at the end of our fall break. Ben, what was your favorite thing you did this weekend? Why oh, so bad. It doesn't get better very, very quickly. I think I'm, uh... Why I'm did I swallow? Because you're not a quitter. Heck yeah. Well, it really doesn't... It doesn't get better. It's very unpleasant, and it's just going to stay that way. How did that girl eat 25 of these? I told you. It's because she's Indian, dude. I promise you. Match any Indian person versus any white person, and the Indian person will have more spice tolerance. I guarantee, I, it's 100%. I guarantee you. India. Uh, to update everybody on the, um, on the, the chap, strap, chapstick situation, I actually made the first test batch with Julia this weekend. And so if you, if you um, are feeling like you need some, some locally grown, locally grown, it's not grown, locally produced, beeswax chapstick, hit me up. We have some, okay. I don't know how you're talking. Why do you think our, why did you think you threw up? Because I swallowed it. Smaller peppers are hotter, too. I think that's actually a thing. I don't even know where I put the stem. I chewed the whole thing for... How long do you think that was? A while. Well, because I couldn't feel it. It gets worse. It's getting worse. I went... It was like brief heat. Brief heat. And then my mouth went numb and it started vibrating. And now it's just like... It's coming back. It's like brutal... It's brutal, unyielding, unforgiving, merciless heat. Okay, I'm having a, I'm gonna sip a naked and see if that does anything. I can't feel anything. Yeah. Uh, you threw up. Yeah. I was about to give him up, so. Ethan, yeah, we've been friends for this long. You just vomited. 
Keep it in your mouth. That feels better. How do you feel now? Would you do it better? again? Better? No. <laughs> wow. Okay. I, I think, so how long, <laughs> so that took, I was like six, that was like seven minutes maybe. It's still going. It's still going. Wow. Wow. Do I regret it? No. <laughs> I really thought that was going to be a longer experience. So much liquid. It's still going in your body. Everywhere. World. How much of the earth is covered in water? A lot. You think it's 70%? Yeah. If it's 70%, I think there could be some merit in investing. <coughs> like the, <coughs> the spiritual connection between the earth and the human body. I swear to God, Ethan, you better keep that vomit sound effect in. I'm not going to do it. Please. I know you worked for it, and then it's a show of your pain, but I can't, I'm not going to allow please. it. Please. Wow. Oh. Wow. It's hot. I kind of want to have another naked, except not really, because I know... It's not amazing for your digestive system. I'll have some real food later. Oh, I still have a little bit of my cliff bar left. Okay, I was talking about the earth. I actually want to say what I was going to say. Is that I think there's some merit in investing the spiritual connection between the human body and the world. If both things, if the earth is covered in 70% water and the humans consist of 70% water. <laughs> I may not keep that sound in either. Oh, <laughs> I don't. That's what I mean. No, what is that? <laughs> Can you get some more towels? Yeah. Paper towels? Yeah. Ben's getting rid of his dinner. Dinner. What'd you have for dinner, Ben? Well, I had a wrap, an enchilada. You? I don't pizza. Think, I don't. No way. No way. Fries. There's and no way. Four cheese sticks. No way. Okay, so Ben went into this. Thank you, you Jack. Jack, you're a stand-up guy. You are a stand-up guy. I think we were talking. Oh my god! I'm not looking. I'm not looking. We're sorry. I apologize for this podcast um, when you're listening to it. Oh, well, the, the noises that you're going to hear. Well, that's heavy. Jeez. So Ben's gotten rid of a lot of. There you go. So um, I apologize for the, the silence, heavy breathing. Um, 
just sounds of pain. Uh, but Ben's really going through it right now. He swallowed it, which I don't know how much worse it makes it, but it seems like it's not pleasant. I swallowed... I mean, I was sw I'm swallowing... Like saliva and stuff play Pokemon. mixed. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. Uh, did I? Do you feel forced into this? Yeah. Well, I told you I didn't want to do it. If either one of us. No, I'm glad I did it. How do you feel now? You probably honestly you vomited up a meat. I think you vomited up the pepper itself. Yeah. Probably immediately. Did you feel nauseous? I think that's what I, I was reading about the thing where it makes you. And your body treats it like poison. Yeah. Because that's why you vomit, is it's like your body's... It's like, it's toxic, it's going to hurt me when I digest it, and so it gets it out. Yeah. And so your, you, your body's like, all right. You know what's funny? Those L.A. Beast videos of him vomiting. Dude, the L.A. Beast is... I think my favorite videos of him are when he's vomiting. Yeah. The eggnog and the raw milk. Yeah. It's not, um... He drinks a boot of raw milk, like, this big. It's gross, dude. The Jack's saying it's not safe. You guys can, you can talk. You don't have to stay silent. It's, it's not... just saying it's not safe. There are many bacterians and viruses in raw milk. Ugh. So, not... What the pro what are the, what's the process they put it... Past what's, what, how do you pasteurize milk? So they pasteurize it and they homogenize it. Is it heating? It. Um, pasteurizing is heating. Yeah, you get it to a certain temperature where the milk itself isn't destroyed, but it kills off all the bacteria. What does it have, just cause it's, it has stuff in it, just cause it's like, it's raw, it's like straight from. Ethan, if, if you don't keep those vomit sounds in, this will be for nothing. <sighs> Please. But it, no one wants to listen, no one knows when it's gonna come up, or Please, they don't listen Ethan. to it. People know what, people know that, you, all right, right now, make a noise right now, like make a make a general vomit noise. D just uh, d only. I don't want to be gross. Just make a general vomit noise. Like, <laughs> that I. <laughs> okay, I'll put in. No. I'll put that in over the other uh, the over no uh, the other noises. No, Ethan. It's so gross. We can't keep in the other. We one. have to. It's, you know that vomiting is kind of like, if someone feels sick and they hear someone vomit, they you know it's kind of like it passes on. A okay, bit. we at it's least gotta a, hear. I want to hear it back. We can do that. It sounds of my we own. We can do vomiting. that. Do you want to make a sound? And I, I can... want everyone else to hear it too when they listen to it. I don't know about that. I don't think we can. I can. I don't think we can do that legally. What? <laughs> Julia made the right face right there. I don't think we can do that legally. Let's go see if we can get Sammy to eat the third one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think we should have Sammy. No. How do you feel now? I feel all right. My, I feel like there's air in my belly. Really? Mhm. Mm Can you feel like the out the outside of your belly? Yeah. Like if you were to outline it. Yeah. It's like etched out. I can kind of feel that. What do my eyes look like? They look fine. Really? Yeah. It feels like I'm crying. They look a little bit watery. You should do your hair like that. Yeah. Yeah. When you took your hat off, when you put it back, it looks good. Yeah, when your hat's off and it goes like, you put it back, you like slicked it back. I think that's a good look. Yeah. Thanks, Ethan. No problem. I need a good pet booster after vomiting. What's that mean? Or a good... Meal? No, no, like a, like a pet, like you, you know, you're all right. Oh, good oh, job. okay. You know, like when you hold back my hair when I'm vomiting in the toilet after a night of drinking? Yeah, I remember, I know that, I remember. And then you're like, Brad! Brad! Brad, he's such a jerk! Oh, yeah. And you're and you're like, Brad doesn't deserve you. And then she's like, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and then she continues. Yeah. Do you want anything to uh consume? You did Pokemon. Just, you did just empty your stomach completely. No, I don't think I did. I ate a lot for dinner. You did have a lot for dinner. You set yourself up to to vomit. I didn't think I was gonna vomit. I think I knew you were going to vomit. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I think I did. Dang. Yeah. You vomited a lot. You vomited more than I thought you would. Yeah, so did I. I thought that was my only one right there when I first did it. It seemed flat. to get worse at the very end. Yeah. How do you feel now? I think I just asked you that. The reason I asked is because I'm looking at myself and I don't... Um, it's like a, a brief... It's kind of like... 
what's something residual? Is that the word I can use? It's like residual. I can feel. I feel. I was like, my body's telling me, hey, there was something in your mouth a little bit ago, that really, that Messed that what, yeah, really was what's, unpleasant. What's a more, what's a more vulnerable state for someone to see you in? Vomiting or sleeping? <sighs> Vomiting, I think. <laughs> Sleeping's a little bit more uh, natural. Vomiting is not, uh, it's not pleasant. It, you know that the other person's in a lot of uh, pain. I mean, vomiting is strenuous, like, is strenuous. It's, like, visceral. It takes a lot out of you. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. That was, I, uh, did, wait, I don't did you say that. you like the LA Beast videos where he vomits? I mean, they're funny. So, but like, would this I, be funny? I, I, I gonna watch him. No, it wouldn't. Because he. No. I don't think this would be funny. This is a bit too real. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think. Look, Dang oh, it. Shoot. I'm gonna look at him again. Ooh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's a good, he's, he's funny. His name's Kevin. Me and him are kind of on a first name basis. I contact him. We, uh, we IM message. He ate a raw ostrich egg. He's eaten a, raw a lot of things. A lot of raw, a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. Vomiting also, like, puts you in a position to get decapitated. Yeah. Because you bent, you keel it, you know, you can only vomit with your neck bent. Yeah. And boom. You know, that's actually the, uh, the Mongols. They'd do something. They would, they would. do something like that. They'd make it you like vomit. a sneak attack. They would poison, they'd send in a spy <coughs> and poison your food. They'd send in a spy and put, uh, you know, Carolina like, Reaper how they, <laughs> how they have, like, banquets yeah. before, like, wars and stuff? Yeah. They, they would send a spy into an enemy, um, banquet right before a battle was gonna happen. And then they, as they were running, the enemy soldiers of the Mongols, the enemy, the, the people the Mongols were trying to conquer, mm -hmm. they would vomit and they would all keel over. And, and then Genghis would, Khan would just walk yeah, right it around. Yeah, it was simple. Like people, they would just run around cutting off heads. What is it? Like 1% of people are descendants of Genghis Khan today? Because he had so many children? Yeah. I don't think it's that high. 1%? That's kind of insane. Someone should Google that. Yeah, how many are the descendants of Genghis Khan? Let's get some. Let's get some stats up here. All right. Uh, how many people are the? I think I still spelled it wrong. No, I didn't. Descendants of Genghis Khan. G -H. I think I, I I butchered that. At least seventeen. Oh, he had at least seventeen descendants. <laughs> no, no. How many? Oh, I didn't, that doesn't, that's, a, I typed in a question that didn't make sense. Oh, what percent One of the world? One in 200 men. Oh, yeah. Oh, what, what, perc percent. what percent of the world is related to Genghis Khan? Yeah, but it's 16 million people, and then 8% of the men living in the region of the former Mongol Empire carry Y chromosomes that are nearly identical. Whoa. That's, that's a... How early did he start? That's a goal. <laughs> like, reproducing? Probably... Three. He's not really the one the time frame matters. Oh. Women, he, it wouldn't take him that long to have 17 kids. Wait, he had 17 kids? I don't know. Hmm. That's the number you said. Like. Hmm. Honestly, I have no idea why that number came up. I didn't read into it. Yeah, I don't know. 17 descendants, maybe like 17 descendants Direct directly descendants. in line, yeah. like in line with, for his like... I don't know, for his... For his uh, throne? Yeah, for his throne. He probably had more kids than that. Um, yeah. How many kids do you have, Ethan? None now. Neither do I. Amen to that. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what Pokemon game are you playing right now? I'm playing Pokemon Black. Did I have black or did I have... I think I had white, maybe. Or did I give you... You gave me platinum. Platinum. Okay. I remember playing Pokemon Black and White. What are the legendaries for that? those two games? Reshiram and Zekrom. 
Mm. The black and white ones. I never, I can, I never have gotten behind like the legendary Pokemon. Really? Yeah, I, they never interest me. I never like. Maybe it's because I never get them, but I never like want to. I never strive for them. Mm-hmm. I never like really want to. Want to even in the Sun and Moon, like I never, I never use legendary Pokemon. Yeah. What's your team right now? Uh, it's pretty. It's like I don't really have anyone on my team that I think um, I'm gonna keep for the whole game. But I got a Watchog. I got a Tranquil. What's the first one? Watchog. It's like this on. A, I think I I know no. There's I think that what region is that? Unova. I know zero. I know none of those Pokemon. Oh, okay. Like Tranquil. What's that? It's like a bird, pheasant thing. Oh okay, okay. I think I, I, yeah, I know that one. And then I have a. Oh, I have a time pole or tim pole time pole. Which evolves into Seismitoad. Yeah. Yeah, it's got like butt yeah, cheeks on it. Those are pretty sick. And I'm like, yeah, that I think I'm gonna keep him in my team. Uh-huh. What's your favorite Pokemon? Crocodile. Is that the uh, red is it like a red? The, the, or yeah, purple? The, the red, red or purple? The red crocodile from Unova. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh Jack, what's your favorite Pokemon? In Unova? In any, anywhere. Anywhere. Oh god. Um Probably Jirachi. That's say. a good one. I like Jirachi. Yeah. I don't know what that Pokemon it's is. It's the one with the eye. And it's, it's oh. a mythical Pokemon. Yeah. Is it a... Yeah, um, the movie. Is it like a bird? Is it like a totem? <coughs> uh, Can you pull a picture of yeah, it? Yeah, I will. What, I think my favorite Pokemon is uh, Two Cannon. Oh, yeah, Two Cannon's good. I think that's my favorite. Is that it's in Sun and Moon. And Moon. Yeah, I don't the new know. one. Or I... Can you think? I like tell you. I tell you and Julia things, and then I can never. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Muck, that one's pretty cool. Alolan Muck. I I do enjoy. I do like Muck a lot, but <laughs> he's not my favorite. I think Two Cannon may be my favorite. I did like a uh, Victory Bell. Oh yeah, you Victory Bell's a good one. Yeah. No, I like. Yeah, I did you, like. Do you Victory like Bell Sprout better or Weeping Bell? I mean, uh, Victory Bell. I like I like Bell Sprout so much because he involved he evolves okay. into Victory Bell. Yeah. Um, I used to be like really into Ghost Pokemon. Yeah. Like Haunter used to be my favorite, but Haunter's then I cool. think I got him on my team once, and I was not impressed. Or Gengar, <laughs> Gengar. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was not impressed. Two Cannon kind of like. Slapped. Yeah, he uh, he pulls his weight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't remember the move that he did. It was like a fi- oh. It was one cannon, word. something cannon. Yeah, it was a uh, beak, baby beak, beak cannon. cannon. No, beak blast. Beak blast. Beak, beak blast. blast. That's beak what it was. Because then he would do a special thing where his, his beak would turn completely red, and then he'd peck, and it would do so much damage. And, then and it would they, almost you, burn. Yeah. It would, it would if burn. They, if, they, if they physical attacked you, then it would burn the opponent. Yeah, that was really, yeah, because it took a turn to, to charge it, up. Yeah, that was such a good move. That was such a good move. And then for, <laughs> I remember playing uh, a Lowland Muck against Caleb. <laughs> and I, I would do uh, Gunk Gunk Shot, I yeah. think was it, and it would, uh, it would go up and it has like a 5% chance of hitting us. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it hit every time. And he'd be so upset. He'd be so upset. Those were yeah. those were my boys. And then, then he, he got his own Alolan Muck, and then it wasn't fun anymore. Yeah. Yeah. But... Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say two cannon was my is my favorite Pokemon. Yeah, he's just cool. I like him. He's solid. So how are we gonna get rid of that vomit? We'll tie it and chuck it down the rubbish. Heck yeah. Yeah, it's about time we got rid of these bags. Yeah, I think it's stinking it up, stinking the room up a oh, bit. Oh okay. Well, I let, can kind of smell it. Let's get Ew, let's gross. get that out of here. <laughs> um, what well, I mean, do you wanna? Oh, Do you want to close up? Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, my, oh, my. I haven't looked, but, oh, it got raised up so I could see a little bit of it. Do you want to close, or do you feel like we should, uh, okay. Well, I'll wait until you, it really doesn't look pleasant. It really doesn't look pleasant. I don't know if we should, I'm not feeling, I feel fine. Watch him throw up down the trash. Yeah, you looked fine, honestly. Just, I could notice that you guys both got really pale quickly. I really? thought I wasn't going to, like, do anything to you, and then you started breathing. I was like, yeah. Did I die. look pale? I should have looked at myself. Yeah. I didn't feel like getting up and... Nah, that's fine. You look pale to me. Maybe I should have recorded it. 
See, I feel like this is one of those things where almost recording it and having, like, you know, video mm-hmm. footage is almost better. Mm-hmm. I mean, no, sound for, effects or something. But. It's some. I mean, yeah, it was. Well, you're not <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with the vomit noises. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. My mom would enjoy them. I wish I could, I wish I had taken, if I did look different, I wish I had taken a picture. Um, but we do, I mean, it's something that I know happened. Yep. Um, happy about that. We have one more, so. <laughs> Hand it up, though. <laughs> you guys are going to have to fight for it. <laughs> ben only took a little piece. Yeah, he did. What's so, up? So, uh, no. like, I thought about it like when no, you like, pulled them out and that it looked sad. I can't remember letting it like pepper. I want to clean it up in the shower. It, it, yeah. it does. It does make them. It makes them hotter. Yeah. So. Whew. Uh, let's see what we're sitting at. I feel kind of. Thirty-six. You want to get back to? All right, Black has a lot, Pokemon Black has a lot of memories for me because it was, the, I think it was the first Pokemon game that I ever really played because, like, I was really into the cards and stuff mm-hmm. when Sinnoh, the fourth generation, came out back in, like, second grade, third grade. But then Black came out in 2011, and then that's when I actually had a DS Okay, so you were it. able to get into... Yeah, and then me and Caleb were really into it at the same time. And of course, like, Caleb steamrolled me. That's the best, is being, like, playing Pokemon alongside mm-hmm. some friends. <coughs> that is the best thing ever. <coughs> <coughs> it's and, uh, so fun. So we both... I remember it was at a... It came out um, while we were at a basketball tournament while we were both on the C team. Me and, Caleb. <laughs> yeah. and so then he got it that morning... Uh, GameStop, and then he I, was always quick at getting games. Yeah, he was always like very fast. Yeah, it came. He got it day one, I think, and then, <clears throat> and then I got it that Christmas. Mm. So there's a bit of a time. Yeah, and then, uh, then later on, I went on a road trip that summer, the next summer, and I played it the entire road trip, and I was like, yeah, and I still have those Pokemon, the ones that the, you my original had, uh... team on my Pokemon bank. Nice. It's fun. It's a great game. Yeah. I don't know if it'll continue to get better or how it's going to change. They're, they're going to have to evolve, no pun intended. <laughs> they're, uh, the company, the game itself. Yeah, the game itself is going to have to change and, you know, adapt. Yeah, I think, but how? How would it... I agree it does have to change. It has to maybe make... Because I think, like, when Pokemon came out, and for a long time, it was the only... It's the only way that you can get an experience like that. It's the only yeah. game, you know, where you get that I mean, um, experience. And it's maybe still the only one, but it's just, it's the same thing. So I don't know. I agree with you that it has to change. I just don't know what that what that means. And they got to be careful because if they're, they're inching on like a thousand Pokemon, you know? Yeah, and so, what are they going to... So they, they recently, they've only been adding like 50 per new game, when where before they added like 150 we need with with each new game. What's the pr- the problem is making um <coughs> too many. Right, and when they when they make a new game that consists of the old Pokemon, I mean that's a lot of work to go back through and make models. Oh for. yeah, that's and exactly moves. right. And moves, I mean they're making moves for. I guess it's the same animate. It's the same. They can use the same animations, but yeah. they have to animate every Pokemon's move. You you mm-hmm. have special. So with that, I think honestly, I think that's most of the work. Yeah. Of, that's a very large portion of the work of making a new Pokemon game. Because there's there's no national decks in this new game. It's only it's exclusive to the the region. The region's Pokemon. I'm wondering why they didn't do that before. I mean, they 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 kind of have before, like with a, the third generation, where you couldn't bring your old Pokemon into that new one. With no regions, de- uh, no national decks in this new game, does that mean there's? What does that mean? It means you can't collect every single Pokemon ever. In that game? Yes. And that's been the case for all the other ones? Yes. So you could find... You could sub through trading or like taking past games or just all sorts of crazy stuff. You could collect every single Pokemon. (coughs) Hmm. I like, I think they should be like, I don't know if what, where this falls, but the idea, I think it should be like, you can only catch the region's Pokemon in the region. And then if Mm. you trade, 
if you trade and stuff, you can get other ones. Is yeah. that how they've been doing it? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay. That seems that or, seems. Or wait, what did you say? I totally spaced out. I just said, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you can only catch a region's Pokemon in the region. Yes. And then the you Pokemon can trade. Exclusive to that region. Yeah, you can trade in ones from other ones. Yes. Is that how it's been, they've been doing it? And kind of. There's like, um, so some games, uh, you'd have to like use weird migration techniques and stuff. Oh. You know, where you'd have to get it from a Game Boy onto a DS. Okay. It was really weird and overcomplicated. Um, but yeah. now it's just, it's exclusive to the region. Yeah. And that's how they've... Yeah, oh, whatever Pokemon, okay. whatever Pokemon they decide to put in the game, those are the ones that the only ones you can get in this new one. I can see why. I think some people are upset about that. Oh yeah, <clears throat> there's a huge uproar on the internet when it was announced. Hmm. Yeah, I can see that, and there's a lot of people who probably are looking forward to, like, taking their favorite. Yeah. Pokemon into whatever new game they. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I get that. Okay, well, I think this has been uh, this is a insightful. good time. To, yeah, this has been insightful. It was quite the experience. Um, I don't regret it. Ben, I'm glad we were able to have at least some of the same experience. Yeah. Obviously, you were a little bit worse off. Yeah. <laughs> you did not do yourself any favors by eating. Copious amounts of food. Copious amounts of food beforehand. I actually haven't eaten that much at all. Um, in any case, uh, this is the B&E podcast. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. Goodbye. See you later.